In just one day, the Georgia cotton industry was able to hear an update on how grower checkoff dollars are being spent, the best seed options to replace Delta Pinelands 555, and what the mills say they need from the growers' fields. Rick Tripto has more in this report from Tifton. In putting together the third annual meeting, the Georgia Cotton Commission's Richie Seaton cited the industry's work to halt government interference to implement certain farm programs. We had some enemies of uh, our people who do not uh, agree with uh, cotton policies and maybe don't understand southern, southern agriculture and the areas of payment limits, active engagement, don't really understand and uh, try to impose their will above and beyond the congressional debate on farm programs. We have been fortunate to uh, combat those folks with actual facts and show our friends in the Congress bureaucrats were trying to impose uh, changes that the Congress didn't intend. More research has also been brought to the state through the Commission and the University of Georgia as the importance of cotton now and in the future is realized. To make that happen, the Grovers heard a panel discussion with the top three cotton seed companies on the best seed options for this year. Delta Pineland 555 with the Bogard One technology will not be available this year for sale. For a mid-season irrigated variety, Monsanto has their DP0949. You know, the mill started seeing a couple of Achilles heels in, in the fiber on 555. I think new varieties like uh, 0949 are going to allow growers not only to get a little better uh, loan value due to longer fiber uh, and, and an overall good fiber package, but I think it's going to improve the, uh, the overall picture of, of, uh, of what, uh, what Georgia cotton is going to look like. Uh, probably the most exciting that we have the most of would be phytogen 370 WR and phytogen 375 WRF. We've evaluated those in the university trials in both the early and the late trials and they've been very, very competitive. These varieties have a lot of staying power, a lot of endurance, so we're excited about what they can do. And from Bayer Crop Science, Stoneville's 5458 Bogard II Roundup Ready Flex. And on irrigated ground with good fertility, we've got extremely high yields with it. It also offers uh, root knot nematode tolerance. Steve Nichols says on their FiberMax side, they have varieties that are high yielding and have the strongest fiber quality. If by now you're not thoroughly confused, one of the speakers had a solution. Plant several varieties so they can evaluate it because growers farm not only for this year, but for the next few years. And so getting experience on their own farm with several different varieties is critical for them to make even better decisions in 2011 and 2012. And those decisions will have far reaching implications. Growers are closely scrutinizing foreign markets too. But uh, yes, the council is really focused on making sure that the trade issues that we see out there, whether they be the Brazil or the Doha, that we are being fair, fairly recognized, fair and, and being treated fairly, I guess, for the U.S. cotton industry so that we're not distorted and our programs are not being distorted in how they help the cotton producer, you know, in the United States. I'm Rick Trepto for the Georgia Farm Monitor. Well, it's definitely a difficult yeah. decision year for cotton farmers in Georgia and the Southeast, Denny. No question about it. As long as we are on the topic of cotton, Paul, there's one more thing cotton farmers need to do this year. And that is, well, the Georgia Cotton Commission. They're urging all cotton producers to vote in the referendum going on now through March 5th. It will give the producers the opportunity to determine if they want to continue the 45-year-old commission. A vote is required every three years under Georgia law. The commission is funded through a per bale assessment paid by Georgia cotton producers, with those funds being used to promote Georgia's cotton crop through research, education, and promotional activities. The Georgia Department of Agriculture has already sent out ballots. If you have not received yours, contact the Cotton Commodity Promotion Office at 1-800-282-5852.